final fucking Lee. I know what I need to do. Let me close this one. Open Streamlabs. Edit. Audio. And hey guys, what's up? Instead of this, video, I want it to be kind of deep dive into speakers, fully yeti microphone. What it is, why it's a problem, how does it work? Uh, uh, you see right, right here, where it says quest? Actually, the easiest way is going to be to go here. Let me, give me one second to see if I can find the easiest way to show you this. Quest, hit here, and then hit autoplay. You see that? So all you have to do is go here, hit quest, then hit alliance journey, and then hit autoplay right here. And it'll just keep cycling through. Make sure you go here. Good evening. What up, Xavius? You're bad. Oh, God. It's been a fucking hell of a day trying to get this fuck shit started. YouTube was an asshole. And then finally we're gonna Let me find it. Some it's somewhere here. We're live now. I almost had everything like fucked. The game that we currently have data. Anyway, let's focus on doing this. Oh, right here. Alliance Journey Quest Autoplay. Click Used on this. Turn this on to make sure that you can do that. So that's just Settings, and then first tab, scroll to the bottom and click this button here. This is where you can actually see and edit your soul binds here. So if you don't know soul binds, you're actually then after you do that, you can come to uh, quests here and hit auto play. For the Venthyr Covenant, you have Nadia, Theatar, and General Draven. Each one of these are actually um, attuned to a specific type of kind of soul bind or conduit s things. Um, so they're either going to be a throughput. Option, right, I've got that set up. Got yeah, that set up now. What I mean by that is Looking nice at that 83k. Yeah, I, I had a little bit support. of an optimization error since I had to fucking uninstall and reinstall the game, but yeah, 83k will do for now. Whereas it's impossible for me to get. Thank you, thank you. But I'm a little bit salty. Yet. So yeah, it's actually not bad. Okay, I don't have to be too salty. Oh. Every time I. Yay! It works. Yeah. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. If we keep this up, we should be 100k by the end of today's stream. Hello? 10 to 15 hours from now. Alright, I've got my mic program running, so it should sound better. Alright, so we're here today. Once again, you know what we do. We're Sorry, I'll be right back. I'm going to go in the other room and check my sounds. See if they're... See if I need to mess with the mixture. Or I get move speed after using that ability. So you kind of get these two options here. But notice if I take this option on the left, I can then slot in a through. What do you need help with? Where are you at? What's your numbers look like? Seven wonders. What's your numbers looking like now? What's your ratio these days? Where are you at? Update. I want I want all my students to now. And then continue on the tree. But if Tell I want to get the defensive option, where are you now? So then you get met with uh, more decisions here. You have to take these two options to progress further. But then you're left with an option of, hey, do you want to slot in a utility conduit, a throughput conduit, or a defensive conduit here? Now, if you choose to say, hey, yeah, I want the throughput conduit. 100K seems a lot. Bruh, we about to get 100K today, bro. I started off yesterday at 50K, bro. What you talking about? What you talking about 50K? Talk about it, get a cow, I'm going to do that. 
Hundred K ain't nothing, bro. We getting a hundred K at the end of the day, bro. Easy, dog. Easy, though, dog. We are prepared to boost the CP to three. Has not yet been seen. How are you planning on doing hundred K? Then share some knowledge. Ha ha. Same old same. But you got to take a look at what I have prepared. Um, so one one here, here, two what here, two here, two here, two here. That's five enhanced so enhance so skulls, though. You know. We're looking like we're going to complete after, more stuff. Um, look at this. We're going to complete. Oof. 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 Close. We'll see how that works out. Time will tell on the balance. Let's take a look at the fine gear. If I'm at the forge. And if you're inside of a rest area, you can uh swap between these guys kind of um at whim. If you have a, a tome, presumably this will work the same way. But if I'm not at the forge here, I you notice I cannot change the tree here. So once you've selected the tree at the forge, that's how it is. I'd have to go back to the forge to um, change anything up here. We're gonna be killing Ruskal, all that shit. That for now, but that's how that works. Oh yeah, we gotta do. Uh, Finish the chat that you was about five or six side quests left, but I'm at eleven point five. Guild bosses in one hour. Into my tree. Guild bosses in one hour. Yeah, that's true. Now, in a recent interview, uh, which is about four point six k above the VOD. That, Perfect. You know, currently the system works where if I say I have this endurance slot, I want to put it in. Well, I right now I've used this out. conduit, and it's it's disappeared. Right, it's it's only in here, and I can't remove it or move it around. Right, it's a of temporary destruction. This is. But Ian did mention that this that is something they're reconsidering. And this so is my route to how more that may CP. Work, it'll either be like kind of like the essence library system, or how glyphs used to work, or things like that, or if it will be somewhat like a relic system. Not quite sure yet, but just know that they are thinking about changing that. Okay, guys. So that's beautiful. That quick overview of I think I finally got it all set up. Uh, the SRSDF method. All right. Um, I can explain it. Or we, let, but let's have, uh, let's see if somebody in chat like Xavius or uh, Seven Wonders can give a brief little summary. I'll read it and then we'll make some modifications so we can get better and better at describing it. Thanks for your greet. Thanks for the follow. Get bored on my main, so I started in all. You guys, oh wow, you started in all. Okay, so you're one of those guys. It's an MMO. You do what you want. Whoa, Whoa you call him a wow. One of those guys? What are you trying to say? Alt lives matter, bro. He's an alt farmer. One of them, they're all the degenerates. If somebody in chat wants to address this, I'll give you a few more seconds to address this question. Otherwise, I'm taking it. He's a member of the alt life. He's a member of the alt life. The alt life, yeah. All right. You guys are running out of time to answer. All right. The SRSDF method is how you're going to level to maximize your shit. If you ask anybody in chat, they've been using it. That's why they're coming back. The SRSDF method is. The completionist method. Yep. Yeah, here we go. You start by doing anything and everything you can precisely. And plan ahead. While you're sitting, the time, so what, I mean, I'm rolling a fucking J while I'm doing this. Level, the, 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 the point is levels are not the goal. Yeah, levels are not the goal. There we go. Levels are not the goal is the point of the SRSDF method. We're working on synthesizing it more and more into into Soundbiter too. We're making all the content. But like, there's so much depth in these systems. Like, I, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, I'd have to go, like we'd have to go into the item set, explain its value, and explain how you want to plan, and understand. Yeah, complete all zones is basically it. Yeah, complete everything. You want to be a completionist, and then even after you complete the zones, you're gonna have to come back. Even after you complete the zones, you're gonna come back, but you won't come back like these rushers who are way out, wasting their time. Way out. Complete it. And, and because the, the the thing is, the servers are going to change. It's going to be PK. There's going to be Lunatra events. I've done all yellow quests. So the yellow quests are the region conquests. So super secret technology. The green are more important. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what I was going to say next. Super secret technology, the green are more important. The green will save you money in the long run because it increases your favor with potion merchants and merchants in town for the zone you're in. The green, yeah, the green is hella important. The green is hella important. And will hella, hella boost you. Go all the way back. Go way back. 
if you've been missing greens, go back to go back. Do every green you can. Go back, farm a zone, do all the greens you can. Like the reason why I'm here is I, I've completed all the greens and but like greens pop up on the boards again. I'm pretty sure they do. You have to go to the request board and you'll be going through town to see if they pop up. And this is the weirdest one. It kind of inverses it, so typically we get a shout out for The side quest, I'm at 85k and haven't done one of them, hoping that's a boost. Yeah, that is going to be a boost. That's going to be a boost. You got the 85k? Your boy passing me? Xavier's passing me? Your boy Xavier's passing me? That's expected, though. You're using the pure optimization. You're using the pure, op the pure, pure optimization with the alt bullshit. That's fair. Should I start from the start, green quest? Yeah. Yeah, the terrain woods. Yeah, go back. Anything you haven't completed, go back and complete it. I mean, it's night for me. Oh, okay. Oh, you're on the, you're on the, you're on your back end of, of where I logged out yesterday. I got you. I got you. Plus minus two k. That makes sense. Okay. I thought you was just starting the day with that strong rating. You're not about, to, not about to AK, AFK farm. Because if you were starting the day with that strong rating, there's no way I'm staying competitive with that shit. Especially since you know the method. Uh, but we getting it. But see, look, look. Imprint stones. Imprint stones consistently just adding CP. Imprint stones. Everything. Food. Oh, also food buffs are huge. You want to? I'm out of food now. They don't feed you, boy. I gotta do you. Green quests give you food. Super secret technology. Green quests give you aid. I spent hey. all day on my main doing all that. quests and all research from chapter one up to where I am now. Damn, dude. Grinding. That's grinding. This motherfucker out here trying to get value. Reporting. I'm about to do gathering and go to sleep. So you're on the loop too? That loop is nice though, right? Do your gathering, do your fucking crafting, then uh, fucking no, stand don't around do and research. Don't, do gather. don't gather just yet. Because that'll be, that'll be a secondary boost once you're done with your uh, first set of books you got to go all the way through to level 25 and journey oh, are you talking so to your guy I'm, no i was talking to the guy you were just talking to i'm talking to xavius xavius is at my level yeah what he wants to do next though is gr is go back and set his character to grind out any of the whites right that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying when you do your when you, i think when he's saying gathering uh, uh, the method i've been doing is i'll i'll get all my gathering stuff crafted up and then go to an afk zone to farm so to make sure that I get my life skills before I do the farm. Yeah, he says I've done all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not wrong, Afro. He's, he's just he's just talking a bit differently. We'll say. That sounds racially motivated. Things are motivated out here. Wow. My whites are in order for three zones now. You got your whites in order. I'm gonna go be a real huge asshole. He's got all his whites, and he's going to march on Washington. I'm going to be a huge asshole. After I finish my region quest, I'm going to be a huge asshole. I got the tail end of your stream this morning, but it was like 2.30 a.m. for me. Now it's three minutes to 6 p.m. I'm heading to bed in an hour or so for research, so I'm gathering alchemy supplies overnight as I can't use companions for materials now. Oh, that's how good you got? That's how high you got? Nice to have. I mean, it's... it's yeah, he needs, he needs higher level companions. Yeah, he needs the higher level companions. I just been getting lucky. Lucky on the drops. Your boy's gifted with the pipe. Loved by the mana. Might as well call me Rike. Rike Suave. El Suave. Shadow Priest, but here we are. Um, I, I will say that you know if you're using the power infusion legendary, which if you haven't seen, if you cast power infusion on someone else, you also get power infusion. Works really well with this trait. It's almost like if you're using that legendary, you should use this conduit. So a bit of a synergy there. And note that as we get a higher all right, let's see what I can level up scale. in my book um, today. What can I level up in my item book under find a day? I have got you, I've got you, and I've got you, I think. As long as I've got the Artist and Tachi, we're about to get some levels. 30 accuracy ain't nothing to laugh at. Just realized I've been online for the past 16 hours? Yup. What does the green quest give? They give you food, they give you gold, they give you reduced prices for, for merchants. They give you XP, they give you CP bonuses. They give you what you need. 
And next up we have like, look, I just want to show you guys something. I have, I have one more story quest before I've basically beaten the game, or you know, before I've beaten all the way through chapter six. I have like, like one basic. Just, let me just show you. The, show you the talk. There's not much more for me to do. Right. And I'm only 65. Like, there's no point in rushing right now. Enjoy yourself. It's an MMORPG. I haven't logged off since launch. I only logged off because YouTube was fucking up and then some other shit and then some other shit. But yeah, I tried not to. Where's Pyfag when you need him? What up, G1 is in town. What'd you just call me a what? Wow. Let's, let's, let's grow, boys. Let's grow the B4 community. Tell your people to download. Grow the method. Tell people to come to SRSDF. We're talking games, too. We, like, we don't have to just talk the SRSDF method, We're, but that's definitely the main focus. But Xavius over here, he's my guy on talking bullshit with games. Nigga resonates with my shit. Okay, so these are all the kind of generic or pre specific ones that we have. We can do spirits, yo, for um, sure, dude. Each for sure, has bro. Its own conduit as well. So, I'm starting off um, fresh. You know, Necklord has one event here, how we can make a nice little solid 15 hours abilities today. That they give you, uh, further enhancing the most of the different Nice solid numbers, 15. I'm trying to get to 75 to viewers, though. Yeah. Tell people. So starting up with the Necklord, that this is. Best bring transfusion. 75 viewers uh, on this Twitch, on voice 100 follows on Facebook, on target or also I'm on YouTube. Um, and it makes it just last longer and deal more damage. Same stuff, different content, same kind so of support. Uh, just makes it better. Um, this will just come down to an entertaining thing, right? There's no interaction here. It's just, it's just better than what other things are on your tree, and that's just, you know, sim it and figure it out. Can't hear you too uh, good now? Like My bad. That. Let me go like this. Be, be in your ear. I'm, uh, I shouldn't with, sacrifice my art for my stupidity. Thing, so we'll see how it works out. Um, Venthyr, uh, somewhat similar. It's called Shattered Perception. But yeah, I was saying we're here to talk. We're here to talk games. We're here to talk the the method. Spread the news of the method. Go on Reddit. I'm on you. I need. Oh, I was saying uh, 75. I need 75 viewers. I'm trying to get pushed for 75 viewers on Twitch so I can make that partner. Need 60. Need like what? 21. 29 or 31 follows on Facebook um, to make the creator program. Also, buy shit from shit. Buy my shit. Help me support you. Help me help you. Help me help you. I need you to help me help you. Help me help you. All I'm trying to do is help you. But if I can't eat, I can't help you. Alrighty. Uh, yo, Metal, I did some calibrations on the mic with this mic program. What, what you thinking? Is it working? Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds clear. It sounds solid. Pick it up your audio. No feedback. No outside shit. Noise gate sounds good. It sounds like you're talking straight to the mic. You know what I mean? Like, it sounds like you're coming out the mic. Wow, that's nasty. Whoa. I wouldn't do nothing like that. That's gross. That's, that's, all that's what all them. Your mic, your mic not, might not work so well. You know what I mean. That's what all them hoes are saying. That's nasty. I don't want to do it. Three like minutes later. Three minutes later. Uh, Come down my throat. <laughs> Whoa, Damn. God, Jesus. <laughs> Bro, they escalate quickly. Quickly. <laughs> you like, what? Uh, rub it in my pussy. What? What's the best profession to do? All of them, because you need them to do anything. Low key. Low key, everybody needs their professions, bro. That's the only way you're gonna get your purple, purple gear crap. The craft of purple gear, unless you buy it off the auction house. Polishing for now, though, or alchemy. The most value is gonna get from polishing because you can make soul stones from from polishing, and soul stones are some of the best, some of the best uh, hidden CP. And you're gonna be crushing them bitches, grinding them up constantly. You want soul shards. You want hella soul shards. And you want hella imprints. That's the see. That's part of the secret. That's another secret layer, beyond the completionist layer of the SRSDF method, 
part of what completing shit gives you that we don't tell you is it gives you soul stones and imprints. And soul stones and imprints give you just break you off with regular CP. Just regular CP. More CP. More CP. More CP. Bro, did you max skill level? Nah, I'm not at max skill level yet. I don't think. I'm not that good. You know how many skills there are, bro? There's so many skills. I haven't even lock unlocked all the skills. All the passers and shit. There's grind to do. There's more grind left. Hella more grind left. I'm chilling right now. I'm coasting. I dropped out of the top 100 on, on purpose. So yeah, I don't have to pressure. I don't have to worry about maintaining shit. I just want to stay right in this region. Right in the, right in the just below. Because when I pop up, I pop up. Now if you want to see rank shit, you want to see real rank shit. Whatever, that's whatever. This is where we're looking. This isn't changing. This hasn't changed. That's what I'm looking at. Where am I with Enchantresses? Right now, I'm just trying to maintain my, 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 my Enchantress position, and that'll keep me in the top 100. You shouldn't level up your skill. It increases CD and reduces your DPS. Um, not necessarily. I mean, I'd be one-shotting shit, fucking shit up all the time. It hasn't really fucked up my, my DPS, I don't think. Wide array of things available to us, whether they're, you know, cheap. Deficits, it depends on the class. Increasing our haste or other things like that. A lot of these effects are kind of crazy, and the combinations are, you know, frankly, not quite endless. But there's a lot of different ways you can kind of spec out your character um, that do kind of uh, change depending on the covenant that you've chosen. So this system has a lot of crazy combinations that you can rack up together. Um, so determining which one's best is going to be almost near impossible. But there will be kind of good kill players. Korean players didn't increase skill their level pretty much smart on their end. Korean players didn't increase skill their level pretty smart on their end. They might be right. But I don't think they're always right. Koreans play games differently and they are playing for a different meta and a different concept typically. But I do always think that the Koreans have a good look outlook on things. You might be right. But I still, like, nobody fucks with me in PvP, and I'll be body bagging hoes. Not like I'll be doing them up all the time, but niggas run away and they don't be killing me, so. I'm not worried. I may be putting a lot of money into the game, yo. Get a weight increase, because I can't carry a whole lot. Yeah, you might want to get weight increase, but you can also grind out for weight increase through crafting. Public back with another video, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the, the raid that we had access to, which is casting. But do you even lift, bro? Wow, casting in this raid. Um, myself, you I can, I didn't know that was a thing. Half yeah, half um, I missed one and a half. That's why I'd be trying to tell people, like, you don't is, this game is this game is not necessarily pay to win, it's just you can pay to ignore how the game works, and that's just doing yourself a disservice. Do you want to grind, or do you want to ignore the mechanics? It's going to make you a worse player in the end. I have some POVs that I'm going to put in the background of uh, both Pearl, Kalefoss, and Sludgefist. I, might have I paid and got no win. It's pray to progress, I would say. Exactly. This is what this is what SRSDF has been saying the whole time. This is why we have a method, because we've been talking about pay to advance and pay to win. We analyze where there's actual value. Some people on, on, on the Discord and you know, forums and elsewhere have talked about this devouring Yeah, pay to progress. I guess, quote, quote, build that we're doing. Uh, and you know, my two cents on it. One, it's not really fun to play. Um, it, it I got, I'm ADN and, and didn't get a single point of CP from it. Exactly. On as many targets as possible for as long as possible. That's like the TL Oof, he must have bought pets. Right Jesus, he could have gotten, I could have got him at least 5,000 CP if he had gone the guarantee way and not the oof. Yeah, he wasn't here for that. Yeah, heck, if I don't have to pay to increase my weight, then I'll just, I'll just grind it for sure. Even paying to increase your weight is like 10 bucks for the two items. It's less than actually. No, it's about 10 bucks, I guess. But it's redstone, so if you have any redstones left over, just use those. It, like, the thing is, like, I understand what you're saying about this, this cooldown decrease and stuff like that or whatever. But, like, I've seen people using low-level skills, and I still just mop 
I mop compared to them. I think it depends on what skills you're using. Yeah, I think it does depends on what skills you're using, my guy. Not 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 that I'm trying to like counter us, but like I, I be seeing people coming in with their with their with their weak ass skills. Like I I, I also might not know. I'm I'm close to the top one hundred so it might not even matter. I might just be this I just might be getting carried by my C P and shit, but like I don't know. Have to find the perfect rotation for build. But also, if you don't level up your skills, how are you going to get the add-ons to the skill? If you can get the add-ons without leveling it up, sure. But I, my, my, my guy be hella lethal. You can? All right. Then the add-ons are important. But then that that's where that's where you would be getting the value. Yeah, if that's where you would be getting the value. The there is your add-ons aren't going to be as effective because they're based off of the damage of your original. Ooh, okay, see. So then if you're going to be a pure supporter, then, then that type of thing, then sure. But I don't know. Because, like, I, I'm not, like, the, the percentage increase to attack damage, especially when, like, I, the full, when I full combo, like, when all my skills have reset and I go off, that's a dead body. Especially since people aren't building defense. That does CD decrease and increase number of attacks. See, see that's what I'm, okay, so I understand what's going on. You guys... You guys are you guys are building for solo play. That's the issue. You guys are building for solo play to rush your character. I am playing. I am building for PvP with my guild, and where our where our our skill sets are complementary to nuking bitches down quickly and moving on. And when then I'm saying like I know what's happening. People aren't building defense, and what ha what matters more is what happened in Bless. Doing a snap attack as quickly as possible, as often as possible, because no one builds defense. Trying to build a tank DPS ranged unit? Are you making a boom blade? Because Rory can tell you how to do that. I don't know. I, I, I think the issue with gaming is people people have become so self-centered in gaming. That they're not, they're, they're, they're not think like, yeah, sure, that might help you. But I'm telling you, when it becomes a group thing, and cats is flagging PvP, SRSDF ain't getting body bag. What the reason um, that they're gonna, well, they can do it for now, but they'll run into issue later. Exactly. It'll move you faster work again. Great. That'll work great on. Um, Bosses that you have the CP for that you don't have to obey their mechanics, but if you're trying to do bosses around your level that you have to pay attention to their mechanics, you'll be better off with a, a hard hitting move so that you can move out. Yep. But it's really up to you what you want to do. So that's why people were getting mopped by region bosses. Because they were standing in that flame, spending a million on HP pots. I, I, I don't know. There's something about this game where, because it's an auto player, people can't see how open world and PvP and all that that it is. For me, I'm going to be leveling my skills for sure. Because I'm going to be going burn and bleed. Yep. And those are based off of the initial. And and I need to build focus meter for my for my character, and that uh, you get more focus from the higher level skills, and it makes the higher focus makes for better chains and, and more devastating abilities like this right here. Oh, look at the crit hits. And I'm not I'm not even trying to disparage the method. I'm just saying if it works for you, it works for you, but. Is that what that was about a few hours ago? There was like 20 people in Realm Chat complaining that they don't have enough gold to buy pots. Yes. Yes, that's what I mean. They are making themselves broke. I'm broke. Well, if you have I have one skill, you're going to be using too many skills, which means you're going to be burning through mana. Yeah, I'm broke as a motherfucker. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'm only broke because I choose to 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 invest in assets that won't pay off until I want to boost. I'm rich than a bitch. I got paper stacks on top of paper stacks. I don't even grind with my damn 
skills. I grind with my weapon. Just auto attack. You only have 60k gold, Xavius. 60k? Oh, poverty! The yeah, economy. Bro, that broke slap me, bro. I got like 40 million on ults. What an asshole. However, it did make it with 60k on my main. What an asshole. Was getting a bit too much more insanity than I needed, so it was kind of interesting to play around with the devouring plague problem. But come on, bro, um, give me that green Tachi blade. Has some potential. I think most of the value from this legendary actually comes from you know whole hogging into death and madness, and you know using that. I grind because I care for that playstyle, right? Um, just because you know, you know the shadow. I'm trying to save the world from mysticism and tyranny. Target perspective, but if you're in an AOE situation like Chaos, and you can get some pretty solid, only need two more pieces of blue gear, then I'll have a complete set of blue gear. Yeah, then you'll be ready to start really getting CP gains. Enhance it to max safe enhance. Then uh, keep grinding. Definitely use the 1K today, though. Oh, I bought a bunch of those and went broke. Just because I didn't give a fuck. I'd have like five million more HP. I'd have like five million more gold. This is really hard to judge right now because so hungry. I need food. It's so lonely at the top. With death and madness, with shadow or death, it actually doesn't give you the reset. It actually has to give that target the debuff first and then die to get the reset. Um, so in a raiding environment when mobs have a lot of health, this is harder to um. To, to run they almost well, like sushi. Is, oh, it's lonely at the top, bro. It is. It is lonely at the top. I'll be right back. All right, so that's our legendaries. Let's move on to talent. Okay, guys. So I, I, I had to bring up our talent three. It's kind of a mess right now. Um, we need to get through this fucking level four in the guild. To make sure people are donating. We're almost at it. I want to kind of call out what those were. So. I'm just gonna go through each row of the talent tree and kind of talk about problems that I noticed. So, first things first, the level 15 row, I've talked about this forever, but the fact that we don't have Shadow Void baseline makes this talent tree effectively dead. Damn, their cloaks is value, bro. I want them. In a raiding environment, it just doesn't make sense. If you pair this with the idea that we have a conduit that can proc a free devouring plague on Mind Blast, that effectively gets double, <laughs> like, double as useful if you take Shadow Word Void, there's no reason not to take it, right? Sure, Shadow Insight can still give you stocks that could lead to instant cast with our own plagues, but the proc rate doesn't make sense, and the way you play with Shadow Insight feels so terrible that I don't think it will make sense. Um, so please, I wish we had two stars for Mind Blast baseline, rework the talent row, it's kind of a mess. Um, I'm going to skip the level 25 row just because I think it's, it's fine, it's utility, it's whatever you need it to be. It's going to be level 30. I think right now, you know, this is actually one of my favorite talent rows inside of CFA, the other thing the choice of how we want to play. Um, I will My potential! I have to unlock it! Tapping that they've done on things. It definitely feels like someone done it. Oh no! There aren't as many situations where I feel like Dark Boy actually makes sense. Um, because there aren't as many, like, giant waves of mobs happening, right? So I'm thinking about use cases where I did use Dark Boy in the past. It was typically that there was a constant set wave of ads happening, like 10 plus ads happening every 30 seconds that gave Dark Boy a lot of value. But, from what I've seen so far in the races in the dungeon, you're hardly ever pulling or able to hit five things or more at a time. And by that point, you might as well just use Misery and get both shots out on all I got scared to become a god. Dark boy getting Terrified! But, you know, things aren't exactly clumped either, so I don't really know how much use Dark Boy will be getting. But, being able to choose between Misery and Twisted Fate, I still think it's a good choice. Um, just because on single player, we're going to take Twisted Fate as that execute option that we want. And Misery being that kind of spread AOE option or longer live target. Um, yeah, Sucking up on potions, on only buying one, like 50 at a time, and I'm on chapter um, 2. Moving on, we'll go uh, five row how do you even make gold? Grinding? The answer is a lot like the SRSDF method. Grinding, but like we're going to break it down because we, we've internalized a lot of these systems, and so externalizing the process is, like, we're each focusing on our particular thing. But, like, you can make millions of, look, I'm getting 205 gold each thing I kill, right? It's about how much, it's about how much time you're spending on each mob. 
Like, look, look at the strength of my attacks, so right and look at the strength of my basic attack. Half his life gone already. Let's count it out. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. So six seconds of mob. So six seconds of mob, about two hundred. So two thousand gold a minute. Exploit ult alts for gold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Xavius is our is our is our is our gold our gold exploit partner guy. If you want to know how to just if you want to know the gold tricks, he's the guy. We're, pro we're, we're, we're cross promoting out here. He knows what it is. He's gonna make that content. I don't have time to make that content. I'm too focused on my verticality of my one main character. I just don't have the time to even log out once for an all. You have no idea how I was, how much I was freaking out on the few minutes, or maybe even 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I was unable to fucking play because of the Nexon issue. You can transfer gold. We got experts in our fields out here. Exactly. I'm not gonna try and like. Oh, I'm gonna try and want. I want all the V4 content that bad. Nah, nigga. But you can transfer what you spend gold on, though, can't you? Yeah. I don't know all the specifics. I'm gonna let Xavius get into that. Let people know. Tell them. You can tell them here in chat. Make the videos. Promo, promo. We out here. Oh, no, it's goodies. Oh, no, it's goodies have been taken. Like, this is just a casual, smooth grind for me now. It's easy. Regardless of your covenant, I think you want to pick this all the time. Uh, lingering insanity just doesn't feel great to play with. This is the stuff the Koreans won't tell you. This is what the stuff the Russia, the Russians won't tell you. This is the stuff that people. Are wow, we just called Koreans Russians. Wow. Because they be rushing to completion, bro. That's messed up. Smart, actual genius. We out here developing the community. We're developing the community. They don't know the strats, but we have them. And then, last but not least, level 50 wrote, same story yet again. Legacy of the Void is the choice, right? You cannot not take Legacy of the Void, right? Um, I think this is so, so apparent to me, especially at levels of haste, because without Legacy of the Void, our task time of Void Eruption feels like 15 years um, to get into Void form, and it's just terrible. Um, I, you know, maybe there's a use case for Dark Ascension. I don't think so, because Legacy also gives us an extra 5% of damage in Void form. It's just, why would you not take this? Um, your I soul is mine. First render so far in the raid, not that they might not exist. Hand it over, your soul. Just poorly designed, in my opinion, and the whole row is a mess. So right now, again, we're going to take Legacy of the Void all the time unless something. Right okay. Let me hear those strats, though. Which strat? What strat do you need? Whisper it in my ear. Oh, I love it. We're getting community action in this. So biznatch. Me and a couple of select friends are worried if it gets out, it'll be nerfed quickly, and we want to abuse it till it does. I mean, play by play. It's not a play by play, right? Okay, so what what he's telling you right now is what he's telling you right now is, so because you've never been a part of like research hacker type culture, is you're gonna get what you need to know if you're clever to figure out until he's ready to until he's gotten his massive advantage from it, and then he's gonna release it completely, right? He's gonna release it completely. Expecting it to be nerfed, and um, but then every, the community will get access to it. I know how to do what he's talking about. I'm not going to do it on stream because uh, it's just not how I play. Um, but it, uh, theoretically, it's extremely effective in being able to get your CP way up. So I'll leave that to him to how he wants to uh, whisper me plots. Most importantly, the fact that it doesn't go in the priests themselves makes this a really hard ability to use because if you if you follow if you follow or subscribe, he might he might more be more likely to uh, to whisper you the strats. I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how things work. I hope that they fix this and either remove the ability or straight up rework it, or at the very least make it guaranteed to go on the priests themselves. Otherwise, you know, we're we're kind of fulfilling this support role without getting any benefit. And as a shadow priest, 
damage class, this doesn't feel great. Um, so I hope they look into that. Um, Venthyr, you know, still not great. Uh, it, it's it, it's fine. Uh, there is some intricacy with what you can do. Um, there is an adversary soulbind that I was using from the from Nadia, where you basically have a priority target. God damn, that's like the fucking eighth one. I wasn't doing a very good job of using 20 million gold in about an hour and a half. Like, Wait, oh, what? Yep. No way. Yep. I know how to. I, I don't. I like. I don't have the time to do it. That's the thing. I'd have to be. There's so much bullshit management. Like it's worth. If it's worth if you're not in the position I'm in right now. I'll tell you that. Doing that much damage, you know, between like two and five percent on single target, AOE is just terrible. So it's our it's ourselves for now. Yep. I mean, if you go back and watch the VODs, you should be able to put it together. You combine our strat with that, and you're good. There, you gotta realize what they see. You gotta realize what they give you. The strat is create bots, farm gold, but how? The question is, how is he getting so many millions? And I continue to do so. I know how he's doing it. Go back and watch like two days ago. But nonetheless, I never really Technically not cheating. Happening. Everybody can do it as well within the rules of the game as it stands. You know, bosses are swinging so slowly that the tanks just weren't getting hit. It wasn't, it wasn't but also, Xavius, Xavius is, a, is a pro player of games. Um, until they get fixed, it's going to be pretty weird to press. Um, and the last thing it's like two days ago or something like that when Xavius comes on. We, we go into it, we start talking about it, and then he goes off and does research, and he's like, yeah, we are here. And somewhat in melee, especially Kieran. I do stream what I'm doing on UK time. Maybe you can figure it out. Exactly. That's the fun of it. Um, it's just, I don't know if it's going to have a great use case, right? There, there, there are so many times where... Spartan gold? No, no, no. I'm talking about one of my VODs from like two, three days ago. I don't remember when Xavius first came on. All of this has been like a blur. Oh, it's day six? It's still day six. Reset server later today. Okay. That feels really weird. Um... Completed this. Completed that. Clearly has a niche of completed that. But once you move that into single target, it's going to go from doing you know nine, ten percent of your damage on AOE to say you know one or two percent, right? And it's just not going to be super worth it on single target, especially if you're not even in range of your target. I don't know exactly what time it is. Uh oh, it's it's after some of the clips. So we have a cl go to the one of the clips on my channel and go back. I was like a nobody a couple nights ago, and now I'm top. 10 on my server and in the rank one guild who approached me and wanted to learn what I was doing. It's doable if you're willing to do. You just won't use it on that fight. Um, and so I think because of that, it's just kind of, you know, exacerbating the problem with these two yeah. abilities. Uh, yeah, Xavius came back in here and was like, yo, the method got me. Well, you you got like 25k off off of a quick one? You got a quick 25k off rip? Boost it way up? People want to know how he got that change? The SRSDF method will change how you play this game. It will open your eyes to the way. But we we play as a community collective, trying to improve each other and make it so that we all have a strong base for our guild. The 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 weakness of all of of guilds overall in MMORPGs right now is everyone's selfish and they don't really care about you. They don't really care about helping out the guild, helping out new players to get better, any of that shit. So they're just using you as a zerg that's dispend dispensable in war. Whereas every one of our people will be efficient, trained killing machines with much with a more effective CP and a higher CP ratio per level than anybody else. I was 50k two days ago, and I'm now almost 90k, and I spent I didn't spend a penny in that time. 40k boost, roughly you come up on a 40k boost. I got boost incoming. All I gotta do is farm. But this is this. I'm not going back to the early area to farm because that would fuck up for newbies that are trying to farm because I can one hit everything. And I could basically one hit this shit too. And this is like, what's the CP here? Oh, this is way back. Why did I come back here? I thought I was, I was supposed to be in Yakabi. Oh shit, Yakabi is this low? I'm gonna go farm in Deku's. I'm gonna go farm in Deku's. Mobs are all weak. Let's go to City Road. That same teleport I just used, you get a burst of movement speed after you use it. 
And then you get your uh, two options here where you're at. Is there a way for me to buy gear from other guild members? Seven Wonders you can. You need to list items for gems on the trade post and have them buy it. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Um, I might not be on for a bit. Like, I might pop in every now and then for the next couple of days or not because my best friend he had a stroke he just told me today so oh yeah man no problem i got you you're noted you're not you're not getting booted anytime soon yeah i'm just letting you know so that that's why i probably won't be on yeah man take care of your shit man life's life's short and people exist only for as long as they do yeah, I just wanted you to know that I wasn't like fucking bitching or something. Def, def. No, I would have been. I would have been like, yo, where's G1 though? Your boy was out here. Like, I, I'm going to try to at least auto every now and then. But, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta go, so I'll catch ya. The first enemy you damage in combat is marked as your adversary. You have four percent damage to them. Peace be with you, my guy. Uh, chat. No deals can be done. It affects more than just me at this point. Yeah, that's and that's what I mean by like hacker culture slash figuring shit out culture. He can't tell you directly, but all the information is out there. You gotta kind of piece it together. He's not stopping you from piecing it together because it's out there. And that's why he's grinding and his squad is grinding because now it's a quantity. My videos exist, his videos exist, and they're out in the Aether Sphere for anybody looking for them. So now he has to focus on grinding as much as he can before other people realize how it works. Haha, ha, I'm level 33 in FTP, so that's not viable. I was talking more about a guild shop that you can use guild coin or guild gold to buy. I don't seconds. know about that. Uh, just note here, Do you not know about that? But you can, you can, if you get your crafting up, craft those tickets that turn uh, gold into red gems. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm sorry, you're gonna have to do research and, and, and go into the go into the archive. I have had to re-record this. They did just change this as I was uploading the video. So um, they did make a, a quick change right here. So um, let's go ahead and get started with Gator and TR choices. So first things first, we have Door of Shadows frees you from roots and snares as your first option. Now, if you choose that, that means you do get to choose the uh, Group of Condo, which is great. And the other option, this is the one that they recently changed. The Door of Shadows now has two charges. But its cooldown is increased by 30 Fuck. seconds, right? Um, which, you know, two charges, you know, it's a minute cooldown. You know, it's okay. Now, if you want the throughput conduit, you're probably going to want to go ahead and go to the left-hand side because you want the DPS increase, which is good. And then you get a fixed utility slot here for CHR. You can start kind of, you know, piecing together the CHR. The one joy of this guild I'm in is that, like, rank 1 to rank 5 are all in this guild, so we get gem exchange tickets rained on us, haha. -ha. A lot of why I chose to be in here for now. You told the rank one, man, you better have them fools, you better have them fools watching my channel. You told them fools, I don't even affect their server. You told them fools the method, I want, I, I just want a little bit of viewership from that shit, bro. The rank one guild, you gave all the rank one through fives the method for free to play and they're already spending money? That's a little bit, I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's actually a pretty fun ability, it looks pretty cool in game. I just made a quick 10 mil guild. Thanks, Xavius. Oh, a pixel macro bot? Respect. So you can click through? Got you. Got you. That's clever. Yeah, so he, spe he sped up your method because he automated some elements of it. They just whales? Ah, all right then, gang, gang. Gang, gang, Xavius. Oh, Xavius, you wanna, you wanna, you like me? What? Tell you, man. For a second, I was almost like, uh, and then you was like, I just need these exchanges. Wow. How do I craft the tickets, man? You gotta get your crafting all the way up. I'm pretty sure. That's like the max level crafting for fucking like polishing or some shit, or alchemy, or herbs, or some shit. Perfect. You can make all types of scrolls and shit in this game. Uh, 
again, not yet implemented, but obviously your place of training is one of our options when we deal. But if your guild member gets rank uh, 1 right on the region boss, they get a gem ticket, and uh, if they use it, the whole guild gets one? Oh my god, what? I did not know that. Well, I'm, at, I'm, so I'm about to start turning on the boosters. Here comes the grind. Alright guys, the last soul mine that we have access to uh, from the Venthyr Covenant is General Draven, this giant big winged guy right here. He usually stands there. Oh, there he is. He's on the Where do I find it? That's what I'm asking. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's under the uh, the potions crafting alchemy. Pretty sure it's an alchemy craft. Or leaving a resting area increases the amount of by 10%, and you're out of combat regen by 100%. You see, look, look. I'm stealing. I'm about to steal. I'm watch. Just look at how I own any any zone I go to. Look at how I own it. Then we get a defensive spot right off the bat, and then we're left with a choice here between built for war or your buff. So with us having all the best people on the server, we get rank one every boss every time, or we kill those that come and try to take the spot. Oh, y'all savages! Giving, doing that, doing the strats already, huh? This is what I meant. He's the people you got to look out for. It's already begun. This is what I was saying. This is why the SRSDF method exists, because people like that exist that are coming to take the shit. This is this game is a resource there's a limited number of mobs and we're all trying to mine the same resource what do you think is going to happen when people realize that they're not getting any fucking kills in the, off a fucking thing and they're not progressing because one dude is holding down the whole area telling me they're not going to want to flag a little bit still got five exchange tickets retarded And then the last choice you get to make is either between Enduring Gloom, your Shadow grants you a shield that absorbs damage equal to 15% of your maximum health last for 8 seconds. So, you know, if you're one of those people that really want to kill some Necro Wars and you love this covenant, well, General Draven's there for you. You get a little bit of shield that you can grow Shadow, which makes it, you know, even better, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, or the last option here is Mooters 1. When you buy Allied Games with super increased movement speed, you also gain the benefit of the target shot. So, I'm not sure, you know, depending on how much they're getting buffed, you're not going to get too much, only 30 perspectives, but hey, it's just something. And then you can choose between a utility or a defensive, uh, kind of a lot of things you can choose. And then the last option... Wow, incidentally, incidentally stealing. Oh. Guild rule is, though, we have to ha donate with gems every day from these tickets. The rest is ours. Well, that's fair. I would have the same rule as well. If you all get free red gems, donate. We almost level eight though, so it definitely works. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't seen the other Covenant videos and their soul binds, check those out below. We have one for each Covenant coming out, so stay tuned. All right, thanks for watching. Fifty mil goal around five to six hours, maybe max. Nice. Friends at Soul back with some more Shadowlands coverage. A few months ago, we. Hello, Internet. Tally Essen here, and today we are talking the end game of World of Warcraft Shadowlands and specifically what your day-to-day -day routine is going to look like in the new expansion once you've completed all your leveling and chosen Hey, you want to see something cool? Yeah, what's up? That is going to take up probably the majority of your time actually playing Shadowlands so this really is quite important because now we get our first idea as you probably know at the time of writing the Shadowlands beta has been announced for next week and a bunch of creators have been granted access to a special event server to play and get a look at all of this endgame stuff. I've been up all night, quite a lot of that was spent playing the new Theatre of Pain dungeon because it's awesome, but most was spent really getting to grips with how Shadowlands endgame works 
and what we are going to be spending our time doing. Where? And why How do I get this? Doing it. So join us as we guide you through the level 60 Shadowlands daily routine. That's what ask, you had um, enough to finish that. You when you finish the last when you finish the last demon stone the demon wheel you get imprint demon slate which gives you demon core 10% type shit take ooh ooh look at the link that uh Xavius posted in my chat at stage 2 on that one ooh these niggas is nasty these niggas is nasty y'all nasty this is what happens when you let people get 50 million in this bitch Usually on safe ground. Um, in in my uh, stream chat, Twitch. Those activities. That is the important part of the daily or weekly routine. Everyone enjoyed the routine of doing dailies and emissaries in Legion because the concept of all quests. I need more imprints. I need more imprints. Off the bench of your raid team, the FA's routine, on the other hand. Didn't hold up I might just buy a I might just buy a bunch of red gems and get a demon stone pack like a nerd. Because if you were a mythic raider, then a fair chunk of your daily routine was running hundreds of island expeditions for that bittersweet Azerite power in Shadowlands. Devil time plus ten percent. That's not Progressions that you are working towards in the daily routine. Legendaries and your covenants with everything that that entails. And at its most simple, that is essentially it. You want to be doing it's RNG, to I see. The legendary items you want. What's you RNG? You want to be progressing and improving the strength of your chosen covenant. When you first choose your covenant, reflex if you're on the second rank of that, you're like the highest rated player in the world outside Korea. And it's really not totally inaccurate to think of your covenant. Yeah, so I was saying it like it's pretty crazy for you to be there. That weapon or part of Azeroth. As in, the more you progressed it and built it up, the more powerful your character is going to be. But in a more varied way than those two systems. Your covenant gives you access to the soul bind system, which is essentially an extra. I'm top five on my server. Okay. Word. Your main power gain reason to okay. your covenant. Okay. So I'm not tripping. Like this nigga is crazy. Soul bind system and how it works in a different video. But there's also your new mission table for offline resource and rep generation, a teleportation network for easy travel around your home zone, and the targeted anima system for unlocking special world quests and events. Did you spend any money, Reflex? There's also a unique system depending on your government. We only have access to the vent fear on the event realm. And for the bitey boys, that is the end of court, which is wow. a weekly event. It's an interesting reward. From an RP point of view, there's also the covenant story campaign. Four stage, that's map nuts. Expansion and the various cosmetic rewards that covenant progress will run, like mounts and armor. But they all spend a shitload of money, no? So that's the two main objectives. Bag legendaries and progressive rewards. Just it's it just just to let you know it starts with alts. The, the secret is alts. On the value items, okay. Just using alts. Just you just look at what you can do with alts. And use them. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil the whole method. <coughs> Especially since I'm not gonna use it. But I know how it works. Call it, call it the the gold farm method. Pass the second rank on that end wheel, and I'm friends with the highest CV player in Europe. What do you do then? Oh, I told you I'm not gonna explain it. That's for Xavius. If Xavius wants to explain it, or not, it's his baby. Yeah, you make an just make an alt, and then explore all the things that you can do between alts and mains. But I'm focused on vertical grinding. Pretty sure that anyone that exploited it will get their shit pushed back. You know how these companies work. It depends. It depends on how they respond to it. It seems like, I mean, it's been out for nine months in Korea. Tell me the Koreans didn't figure this out. I thought this was going to be annoying and stupid, but so far... I have really enjoyed because it turns out auto battlers are really like an exploit is an issue with the code not they literally put they literally put the Chinese firewall up so you have to figure out how to do it yourself and it takes effort and time just like everything else in this game it's an objective improvement but here's the thing it's alt and it's alt and macro to speed it up yep automates this system I suspect that's half the reason they made they put macroing in the game 
it might force you to engage with your mission table a little bit more than you'd like. But there's no such thing as Dang, you about to have people mad. They want that gold, Xavius. And I would expect it to be the same. You got people, you got people hella upset. People are going to be knocking down your door asking for that gold. My followers or adventurers and what they can do and investing in them with more time and emotion than I have done in other expansions. I hope so anyway. I've been pleasantly surprised by this. You also need Anima to unlock your covenant upgrades like the teleportation network, new power for your adventurers, new stuff for the I'm doing it right now. About that more in a moment and the Anima diversion network. Okay, so all the anima I use no third party. I'm pretty sure the game has macros though that you can put in on your own. Anima to pretty sure somewhere in here there's a macro setting where you can put macros in. Like world Over time, as you direct anima to a certain point, it fills up a bar until eventually Could have sworn I saw it somewhere. Permanently unlocked. There's also a cool RP element to this too, where according to Ian, hand over the loot. I'm talking to you, not give me that loot before I shoot. Dead part of Ardenweald would start to sprout new plant life and become. Yeah, you can AFK and find your other account so exactly. Cool. I'm really into that idea. So that's so cat cool. out here and he trying to hold me back. And I'm sure there will be other uses for it too that haven't appeared on the beta just yet. An anime so you ain't trying to come off that loop. That's what you're saying. Pretty much anything, but especially from completing world quests and objectives. Oh no, Taliesin, not world quests. You said this was different this time. I'm gonna need you to part with all the loot. You don't need that. As it happens, world quests also that loot's for me. There is one that we recognize as an emissary. In a day, I was told to go and do four world quests and reference right, them. Then rewarded me a chest with Covenant tribute in it, which was a whole chunk of anima for my reservoir and sea gold. But there was a bit more of a mix beyond that. I was told to go to Maldraxxus and essentially kill five elites for another tribute box and fill a bar defending Maldraxxus, which, yeah, okay, drop it. Done exclusively by the loot is mine. But also, I filled up 60% of it by doing the Theater of Pain dungeon. I don't know if I mentioned, but the Theater of Pain is. Awesome, so that's a nice touch. So it is a bit more interesting than just emissaries, and I think it's probably an improvement over the current system. I'm optimistic. I'm guessing you'll also be getting anima from enemy drops and dungeon bosses, bosses in your weekly chest. Also get it from the That's all I care about. What you mean I can't have it? Uh, to those covenant upgrades for a second, you can see that they all have an anima cost, but also a different. Type oh, so you fit to die today? And this is one of the reasons trying to keep me away from my loot. Around the mall at max level, which Ian has described as kind of like a mechagon style zone, as in it's a bit more freeform and exploring than a standard leveling zone, as well as. No, this metallic cat kid that lost his mind. Like much more dangerous. There is also a soft time limit on the amount of time that you can spend there per day. Completing activities and killing baddies there will fill up your eye of the jailer, which is when the jailer will start to send increasingly more badass baddies after you to get you out of there. And I think it's really interesting to have this kind of zone in the game from day one. The more freeform timeless isle or broken shore style area is usually a patch X.2 introduction to this patch. So I'm really interested to see how this will play out in the long term. There's also a pretty cool continuing story in the war too, where you are trying to rescue what are referred to as the peacemakers. Bane, Jaina, Thrall, and Anduin, aka the idiots, I, I mean uh, the selfless heroes. I'll have any problems as I'm not multi-logging. I'm not using third-party software, etc. Yeah, you'll you'll be fine as long as you're doing everything manually. In no way am I exploiting any systems. I just use my brain. I see some Russian abusing it now. If it's a Russian on EU, he's probably doing multi-box hack shit. Can I explain? I'll I'll give you a little bit of an overview of how 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 alts work. Let me give you let me give you three key things. You can make an alt. Your alt shares storage with your main. And your character limit purchases for gold things apply. And through doing regular shit on your alt, you'll easily make five million. Just without doing shit. And gold can be converted into stuff. And you share storage, which allows you to hold stuff. But you can't trade gold to your alt. So I'm just gonna leave it there.
which I thought yeah, that's was really we awesome, asked. because obviously it is, but I want all the loot. If you don't give it to me, I'm gonna take it from you. You don't need that loot. Nah, it's mine. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Doing level 50, 1 to 55 on full auto is 12 million gold if done right. Yep. It's really simple. But it's just it's just another time sink. Using caps. Um, I don't. Uh, this that's one of those default things. I don't control that shit. Fucking bots. I don't know how to set that shit. I'm sorry. I didn't really didn't want you to have to be timed out and shit. It's just the default settings. I don't really know how to change it. Or I haven't been voted to change it. So far, is that. Now, it's worth noting that obviously on the event realm, I can unlock all of this stuff and all of the resources that I, I just, I just told you the method. I really literally just told you the method. Everything you need to know to be able to apply it. To gather all of these people, like the architect who allowed to buy the upgrades, and the guys that set up the teleportation network. I don't, I, I don't, God, I hate that fucking setting. It pisses me off so much. But so far, that's how you are spending your day. I don't know which fucking bot controls it either. Heading out to your covenant hall with an armful of objectives and your quest to complete for anima, which you'll then use to upgrade your order hall. Focus on loot. Where is it? Let me have it right now. I need the loot for the juice. The rest of the story, getting your tool fast runs done to stay on top of your legendary components and to eventually craft the orange item that you want the most. So we are getting an update tomorrow. Really exciting that the devs are being this hands on already. An update tomorrow after the first week? I mean, when you make millions of dollars in the first week, you think, wait, I mean, they maybe definitely this did make millions of dollars. See, maybe I can week. get all that money from me. They made millions of dollars in the first week. Metallic Cat doesn't know about paper stacks. He out there ain't making nothing because he whack. Next on on that next level shit. Update for auto buy pots gonna be nice, easy AFK. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So you can tell you to buy pots when it runs out. Yeah. It's just like bug fits, etc. They might even improve. They might just be improving the uh, manual control before PvP really. I'm out here getting my research on doing what I gotta do. Oh, not man. like a major.